say short videos. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, a little break turned into a long break. Well, I guess to be very transparent, I really shouldn't say sorry. Um, we do what we need to do for ourselves. Thank you for tuning into this video. As you can see from the title and that thumbnail, I'm doing a quick check-in with you all to show you my new plants and my new yarn. Two things that make me very, very, very happy. So, I'm almost out of water here. Should we start with the plants or should we start with the yarn? Let me see if I can read your mind right now while you're watching this video the plants okay the plants but first y'all look at this so my husband found these at uh babe where, where'd you find these uh ross ross he yeah i see it right there there's the sticker he found these almost at sprouts he found these at ross probiotic apricot dry apricots I guess I'm getting old y'all because pro probiotics <laughs> if you know you know <laughs> so y'all they so good no added sugar no fat only 100 calories 3 grams of fiber it almost tastes like I'm eating candy and it's just dried apricots MCT oil and the probiotics and some saccharomyces boulardi boulardi that's it like I don't see any added sugar or anything like that so the thing about it even though they look like candy and taste really good you can't eat them like candy because they work they work so I just had to, mm, let me show you the prunes. Thank you. So we got these first, the prunes, and he went back to try to find more prunes, but they didn't have them, so he found these. Y'all, these things, I mean, taste so good, and they work, okay? I don't have no sponsorship, nothing like that. I just had to share this with y'all because we were pleasantly surprised at our results <laughs> from eating those. So if you have any type of stomach issues, any type of constipation, anything like that, try it, okay? It works. It may take you, you know, a few hours, maybe overnight or something like that, but results. Okay, all right, let's get to the plants. So y'all... Moving yarn out of the way. I am so, so excited. And in addition to the yarn, I'm also going to show you a few um, new things that I got off of Amazon. Woo! Look, y'all, how cute. How cute. Okay, we just found these at Walmart today, like just a few hours ago. And each one was three something, like $3.78. So roughly $4, less than $4. So, so, so pretty. Doesn't come with a pot, but I have some pots that I'm going to put them in. I have, this is a snake plant that I already had, but I have like some pots that look like this that I'm just gonna drop these into and I think it's gonna look so, so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So two of these. And these are, oof, Lucene's. Lucien, Lucien, Lucien. This one, I've never had these before, so I'm not um, sure of the correct pronunciation, but L-U-S-E-A-N-E. -E. If anybody knows how to correctly pronounce that, let me know, but after this video, I'll probably Google it and make sure I know how to say it. So either Lucien, 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 Lucien. That's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> so that's what that is. Very, very pretty. Do -do 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 -do. And y'all, I have two new Dickie and Bacchias. Look, so we just have to get these little brown ones out of there. And these were each about $10 with the nice little pot. And I know this looks like a ceramic pot, but it's not. It's just hard plastic. But I love the way it looks. Love, love, love the way it looks. It goes with um, the color scheme and aesthetic that we have going on in the living room. Kind of like this um, grayish and then this faded white here. So, 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 so pretty. 
and I've watered this little baby. And then the other Diffie and Bakia, the one that we saved, because when I was in Walmart, this one was all droopy. So you see how this leaf right here is drooping down? And this one is kind of droopy. The entire plant was drooping. Like this whole thing here was like this. It was like that y'all, like seriously. And I was like, ah, I think I can save it. I think I can save it. So because I wasn't a hundred percent sure, we just kind of looked around the garden area there at Walmart. And I was like, can we find some water? Because I just want to water it and then come back and see if it perks up. So I fa we found some water in um, a little pot. It looked like it was just like some rainwater. And we took that water, poured it in there, and went and did the rest of our shopping, came back, and the baby had perked up. And I was like, yes, we are buying it. So y'all, this is so beautiful. It's so lush, so lush, and all the leaves look nice. I think this one might be a little crusty from the sun, but it's not brown or anything. So, so beautiful. And I've had, I want to say, two Dippin' Bacchus before, and I can't quite remember what happened with them. Look, it has a baby. Look. I can't quite remember what happened. Did I overwater? Did I underwater? I, I, I can't remember. But I'm going to try again with Dippin' Bacchus. Um, they take, uh, they require more than like um the plants you see behind me these are just like regular basic pothos plants so it does they don't take a lot but Diffie and Bacchus require a little bit more but this one is just now unfolding so nice so I'm really 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 excited about um trying to take care of Diffie and Bacchus again <laughs> so I'll let y'all know how it turns out if I pop up on a YouTube video and you don't ever see these again that means I failed <laughs> I'm gonna try okay on to the yarn actually maybe before the yarn I'm gonna show y'all some of the new things that I got off of Amazon okay so these are some things that I got off of Amazon These are US 19, 15 millimeter circular knitting needles. Y'all, oh. look, beautiful. And I have not un un unwound them yet, but y'all, oh, I just, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. And they're so smooth, feel so good. The little gold endings, so nice. So, so, so nice. So I cannot wait to use these. I have an idea for like um, a sweater and or a cardigan that I want to knit. And I have never knit a full sweater or cardigan. So I want to knit a full sweater or cardigan, y'all. So I'm really, really excited about um, starting that for the first time. And these here, more circulars off of Amazon. And as you can see, all different sizes. From really, really small, right here. Look, look how tiny those are. Oh, I don't know when I'm gonna use those. Maybe if I'm um, using some type of string or something like that, sock yarn possibly. Those are really, really small. And it goes all the way up to U.S. size 19, bigger. I'm, I'm sorry, U.S. size 17. These are size 19. Yeah, 17, 19. So I just had to grab these because it has such a nice range of sizes. All circulars. So, so, so excited that I have a variety of circulars to choose from. I've already, I already have a few, but definitely not this many different sizes. So my circular knitting needles from Amazon. Uh, this here, this is just some gold, uh, not thread, we like string, like the, the stuff that you would like wrap around a gift and make like a little knot and a little tiny bow. But that's not what I'm using it for. I want to braid my hair and I'm gonna take like strands and strings of this and braid it into my hair so my hair can have the the gold thread through it i think that's so 
pretty and it'll look good on my hair, in my hair. All right, next thing, y'all, it's small, but you do not know how happy this makes me, okay? Because usually when I uh, knit and crochet, I just use regular little sewing scissors. Um, let me show you what they look like, hold on. Alrighty y'all, so I got them. So usually when I need to cut, I use these. So pretty, so pretty. These came from Amazon too a while ago. They were a gift um, from a sister and they work. And I think I got them, she sent them to me in like three different sizes and I love them, so, so nice. However, this is even better, like when I'm on the go if I'm riding in the car or something and I need to cut something, I feel a lot more safe having something like this versus the scissors because like that's a really, really sharp edge. This is so nice, look. And it has this nice look, y'all. I just, I you don't understand. Like if, if you have something that's like small, like a small item that you have just really, really wanted for a long time and the item is not very expensive, but just for some reason, you just haven't gotten it. And then you finally get it. Like the feeling is amazing. So, so small, but this makes me so, 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 so happy. All right. Along with that came these little notions. Mm, 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 mm. And this makes me very happy too, because I have never had these type of, this type of stitch markers before. They are just round and open. So it makes it very, very easy. Um, let me give you an example here. Let's say I'm crocheting, right? And I need to mark a stitch. This makes it so easy to do. Boom, my stitch is marked. The ones that I have now, they have like a little, I don't know, like a little lock thing. And you, it just takes more effort to open them and actually mark the stitch. But this one, you just mark and take it out. So my life is going to be easier. And it also includes some curved yarn needles. Let me see. I guess I'll show you the blue one. And I'll show you a straight one that I added to it so you can see the difference. Uh, okay, there we go. So this is one that I already had and I just put it in the box. This is a plastic one and it's a yarn needle. Um, some people say darning needle or what have you. And it's straight, as you can see. This one has a slight, I hope, I hope that's coming across on camera. It has a slight curve, upward, turning around, downward. But this just makes it so much easier when I'm trying to weave in threads or sew in ends or pieces, like this little curve, you just don't understand how much easier it makes um, a, a knitting or crochet project. So I have quite a few of those in here along with the stitch markers. So it makes me very, very happy. Um, my husband grabbed this for me off of Amazon. I was like, babe, can you get this for me? He was like, yeah. So I'm so, so grateful, so, so grateful. All right, now on to the yarn. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> I swear, the yarn just makes me so happy, my goodness. So I found this yarn from Lovecrafts. Lovecrafts.com. Okay, so if anybody is looking for yarn, any type of knitting crochet patterns, I don't know how many of y'all um, knit or crochet, but if you do, Lovecrafts.com is a very good website that I found maybe like a month to two months ago and I'm just so in love with it. So I bought one, two, three, four, I bought eight skeins of this yarn. This is the yarn that I want to use to make my first sweater or cardigan. Haven't yet decided, but this is what I wanna use. And because it is so thick, this is super chunky, I went and got the various sizes of knitting needles that I knew I would need. All right, this was my second order from Love Crafts. And this was my first order from Love Crafts. Now, some of this I've already used, and I'll show you what I made with what I've already used. But I just want to show y'all, y'all, the yarn is beautiful. Okay, now this is not Love Crafts. I just put it in there. This is Walmart. This is Mainstays. 
but look how lush and nice that is. These two are from Walmart. And I have an idea of something that I want to make with these, but y'all, I wish you could feel it through the camera. Look at that. Oh, feels beautiful. Feels beautiful. Okay, let's get into some of these colors, y'all. I am now making um, plushies. Plushies, stuffies, and I'll show you an example. But you're probably like, dang, when's she gonna stop pulling out yarn? <laughs> so look at these colors, y'all. Look, oh, look at this deep eggplant. My goodness. And that's just some of the yellow on there. It'll come off easily. But look, y'all, these colors. Oh my goodness. This is like a nice, um, kind of almost bright emerald. Kind of like a mixture of emerald and Kelly green. Ooh. Of course, I have black. Mm. Look at this. Parfait yarn. This is like a soft pink. Oh, I just remembered. Some of the um, Himalaya ones, it's not... So, all the yarn is like pretty much the exact same, but the brands are kind of different. These that say Himalaya, I actually found these from a shop on Etsy and I can't quite remember the name but I will put it in the description box um, so these that say Himalaya came from Etsy the ones that say Parfait came from lovecrafts.com I actually just remembered as I looked at it and I was like why is that different so that one was from Etsy but look at the beautiful colors just want to show you all the beautiful colors so if you um, if you are interested in seeing the things that I'm going to be making with this, make sure that you are keeping up with my I Say channel on Instagram. Also, I Say is on TikTok. And if you feel inclined to do so, you can give a little heart to my I Say shop on Etsy. I'll put all of those links down below if you need to find them. But I have already started posting some of the things that I've made. And I'm about to show you that right now. Look, y'all. These are some little boba tea plushies that I made from the yarn that you just saw. Looky, looky, looky. How cute. Wait, there's one more. I'm supposed to have an orange. Oh. Got it. <laughs> okay, so I call this uh, butterfly pea boba tea. <laughs> this is a pineapple boba tea. This is strawberry milk boba tea. Ugh, don't fall over. And I did my best to crochet them to where they actually sit up. And sometimes you just have to smash them. There you go. This is taro boba tea. Trying to put them all in the camera, but I don't know if it's going to work. Mm -mm -mm. Sit down, sugar. Thank you. And this is Thai tea. Boba tea, I suppose. <laughs> so, y'all, these are just so adorable. I am in love with them. I really just want to keep all five of them. But they are up in my Etsy shop. I believe I had to add pictures of the yellow one and the pink one. But these three are up in my Etsy shop. So, I was just so, so happy that my um, first shot at crocheting these came out to be what I wanted it to be. And I think I'm also going to make the pattern available as well if anybody needs the pattern if you crochet. Alrighty y'all, so we are at the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've missed y'all, so I just wanted to check in and let you see my face and hear me talk and do things that I've previously done instead of just posting those little short one minute videos. Um, so I hope you enjoy the new plants. I hope you enjoy the new yarn and me just being chatty with you. I will be catching up with you soon. Inshallah, God willing. Peace, blessings, love, and light. God be with you. Bye.